file system structure and its description. We have a file system and each f uh, in Linux that is divided into different directories and that's something that we have seen previously as well. So now I am going to take some time in this lecture to go over each file system partition or the folder or a directory that is set up in Linux and I will explain you every directory in Linux file system and what is it used for so I have listed down all the directories and I will go over them one by one, by one based on how important they are so the first one and the most important one that we have in the list is slash boot slash boot is the file or is the directory that contains files used for bootloader or the the file that is in there is a grub doc CFG or configuration file what happens is every time your system boots up the first thing the operating system that needs to boot up the system looks for slash boot and that is somehow hard-coded in the disk that you start up go into slash boot and you will find what you what operating system you need to start whether it's an old operating system or a new one or upgraded version so it goes into the slash boot file and it looks into it by the way I will go over each one of the directory in my Linux system and I'll show you exactly what inside of each directory second one we have slash root it is the root user home directory please remember it is not the same as slash a lot of time people confuse slash which is also known as a root but it is not actually slash root so root when you log into a system a Linux system as root and you do PWD you will see you will be in a slash root not just slash then we have slash dev directory this is a systems device such as a disk, a CD-ROM, speakers, flash drive, keyboard, any of those peripheral devices that are attached to your Linux system. They are created as a file as well and they will show up in a slash dev directory. Going and moving forward is the next one is slash etc. It is also one of the most important directory in Linux file system it has all the configuration file if you are running SendMail, NFS, NTP or any kind of application that actually runs on top of your Linux system or that comes with the Linux system all those configuration files are located in slash Etsy if I wanted to modify something on let's say DNS I will go into slash Etsy name.com file if I wanted to modify something in the send mail I will go into Etsy mail and send mail dot um, CF or that type of configuration file so just remember that anytime you're making change in slash Etsy to any file inside of this directory please make sure you make a backup first of that file before you modify the configuration file then we have slash bin slash bin in the newer version has been changed to slash user slash bin it is uh, like a linked to slash user slash bin and it is actually the directory where we have the commands that are used by everyday user commands like ls pwd these type of commands all of them are in a slash user slash bin directory then we have another directory called slash s bin which is pointing or linked to slash user slash bin this is a system slash file system commands those are the type of commands that you really need for system type of purposes if you want to extend your file system or configure your file system that will take a look again in our um, when I bring up my Linux machine slash opt slash opt is used for optional add-on application it is not the application for uh, operating system apps like NTP uh, DNS those are the application that is actually come with app uh, with the operating system this slash opt is not used for those type of application that is used for third-party application let's say if you are installing let's say Oracle or some other kind of application or SAP those are applications usually and most of the time are installed in slash OPT 
slash proc are, is the directory that is used uh, and, and create files for all the running processes. Uh, please remember when you shut down your Linux operating system there will be nothing in slash proc. It will be empty so the kernel which I will explain to you later on what kernel is but there is a program kernel in Linux that actually creates uh, all these files for all the running programs in that directory. One system shuts down all those files go away. Lib, uh, which is now pointing to user lib, it's 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 a it's a location where all the C programming library files and those files are needed for commands and applications. Meaning, if you are running a command, let's say pwd or ls, all those commands actually do have libraries attached to it that they could go and look for and that's how these programs are run because they are written in C and C++. If you wanted to know which um, which command is used and, and sorry which library file is used for which command you could use this command trace minus E or open like PWD is the command. The next one we have slash temp directory, the directory that is used for temporary files. It has no significance whatsoever, but you could just, if you wanted to create a file, a temporary file that you think you will delete it later, you could create that slash temp directory. Uh, slash home directory is used for regular users. If I creating a regular account on an analytics file system, let's say IFSOL, my home directory will be created in slash home. The next one we have is slash war. Slash war is used for system logs every time your your operating system writes uh, some output or some logs. All those logs or its application logs will always go into slash war. So if you are troubleshooting issues, you could always go into slash war log uh, and uh, and other directories where you could find information about a specific application or if something going wrong with it. Then we have slash run. This is where the systems daemon starts up on very early stages, for example, system D and UDEV, to store temporary runtime files like PIDs or process IDs files. And again, this will go away if the system is um, shut down, uh, it's just to store those process ID and keep track of it. Slash mount uh, is used to mount external file system. If there is nothing, if nothing is mounted on your existing file system, then you could use that slash mount to create another a subdirectory and mount an, an external NFS file system to it. Slash media is used for CD-ROMs. If your system has a CD-ROM drive and you put it, a CD-ROM inside of it, then you close the tray that CD-ROM will be mounted under slash media if you are using a virtual machine you map the virtual drive to your virtual machine that virtual ISO image will be shown under slash media CD-ROM so that's the list of all the directories that we have that's the file system structure and its description and now I'm quickly gonna go into my Linux system and I'll show you exactly each one of them and how it is setup. Um, so I am logged in as um, who am I? I'll do root and I'll cd into slash and I will do ls minus ltr or ls minus l and you see all these directories that I have just covered. So first one I have is boot and if you notice in the boot there is uh, these two directories grub and grub2. If I go into grub or grub2 Let's go to grub2 and do ls-ltr. You'll see there is grub configuration file. This is the file that's telling the system which operating systems to start or which version of operating systems to start. Let's go to slash root. This is the root home directory. If I just hit cd and hit enter and do pwd, this is the root home directory. There's nothing much in there. It's just its own desktop document. Probably it has all of them are empty. Nothing is in there. Then I will go to slash etc. This is the directory which has all the configuration file. Most of the files that you're going to see in the in this directory or the subdirectories, all of them would have dot conf so it means it has configuration file going to slash bin which is pointing to user bin it has all the commands that we use 
everyday commands to actually talk to the operating system. Same thing with sbin. This one has all the ones that deals primarily with the, your file system, disks, and extending the file systems. Then we have opt. You do ls minus l and you'll see this is the one that is used for third-party application right now it only had like RH which stands for Red Hat nothing else then we have proc is the one that runs all the running programs temporarily it is not the actual file that will stay on the disk we have next one library and library has all the library files that are needed to run a simple command next one we have slash temp and in the slash temp you see all these are temporary files you delete them you create new files it doesn't really matter it's just a a, a scratch uh, space that you could put your files on then you have slash home slash home is for the users like I have my user here I have another user called Seinfeld this is the home directory um, then the next one is slash war slash war is used for all the logs that are created um, in your system so if you primarily the main log is slash war slash log and this is where all the logs are created if, if something goes wrong with the system this is where you have to come in by the way every one of these that I'm going through I will go through again later on and you will get more and more familiar with these uh, file systems and its directories and all the commands that I'm running on then the next one we have slash run this is the one that runs the the system demons very early on the stages and these are temporary files the next one we have MNT this has probably nothing because I do not have any external file system mounted on my this file uh, on my this computer so if I mount it I will use a command mount to file it and usually it gets mounted in slash mounted because you have to specify it and that's where it goes the last one is we have slash media is this where if you had a CD mount CD ROM attached to your system this is where it will go anyway um, this is what I wanted to cover in the file system structure and description I really hope that this lecture covers everything in terms of the file system and structure alright thank you